what's your at? At SU underscore Joe Wee. Word. And, and I'm a, at Banjo Plays Banjo, and that's for everything. Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, yeah, Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash app and everything. Don't do that. No. Come on, bro. <laughs> it's, it's promotion. I have to do this. I feel that. But we're going to be uh, hopping off, and we're going to get and get you guys more Smash action coming up. All right. Talk to you later. So we've got a, a fun snake ditto starting off. This is Neighbor speaking. Kimona is joining me. I am right here, yes. Uh, Kimona and Neighbor here on the mic to tell you all about snake dittos. That's what we're getting into between Last Stop Gaming's Avoid and TTN's Ultimate Razor. I hope you like grenades. Yeah, I sure hope that you like seeing explosions, which honestly, that's the best part of this matchup is you get to see things explode all over the place. It's aesthetically very pleasing. But right now, man, it'll be pleasing to see you know, just kind of a battle between the two top snakes in Texas because I think that it's been kind of a point of contention lately of it has Avoid overtaken Ultimate Razor since that first season. Yeah, I mean, Avoid has been the uh, the household name more recently. I guess the one who's been traveling a little bit more than Ultimate Razor, but Ultimate Razor has proven today with his uh, setting showing all the way throughout you know his pool and up to uh, up to this bracket where he had to win to make it here. Ooh. Has been pretty good. Yeah, no, I mean, he's definitely looked really, really good today. Looked pretty good, uh, you know, for certain points last night as well. But you know, right now, man, finally getting that first stock off of Avoid. He's been playing from behind pretty much most of this game. It's really been Avoid. And honestly, that makes sense because Avoid really just loves pressing the B button a whole lot. As a good snake will. As a good snake will. But he's very, very uh, forward and aggressive about it, mm -hmm. I feel like, uh, more than other snakes are, where uh, Ultimate Razor will be more about setting up his own. That was such a smart coverage there. He had the bomb to cover roll away. He jumped away to bait out the uh, tech back mm. and then caught it with the up tilt. And right now, I also like seeing all these multi-hits coming out from Ultimate Razor as well to cover all these advances by Avoid. Right now... Razor's got a chance for that edge guard. He pulls out the Nikita, but that was really good D either uh, by Avoid to just stay on the stage. Slide off the I would have put him into a really bad position. Uh, which, you know, against a lot of characters, sometimes you want to do slide off the I on a stage to make sure that you don't get caught. But if you're off stage against a snake, that is where you're going to get caught. Man. And that's where the extensions come. As powerful as Snake is using Nikita, Snake oh. against Nikita. Oof. No, that's Not a, a rough do. time. And yeah. also, as much as you got to keep track of where uh, your own explosives are going and putting them in the right place, Ultimate Razor just showed Avoid that he's got to keep track of his as well because that C4 place right there, I mean, C4 is building up a lot of damage for Razor right now, and that's kind of the central part of his game plan. He uses C4 a lot. Mm -hmm. And you'll see MVD use C4 a lot, constantly rechanging its position so that the opponent's not able to maintain the knowledge Ooh, of where it is. Oh, that's a stick, though. It sure is. Oh, but it got transferred. Not going to combo off the forward throw, but we are going to get the Nikita sealing it off. Mm. Two stocks for Ultimate Razor. That was a... Uh that's really a, a whole lot harder than it initially even was, which was already hard for Avoid after he got the restick on himself. Just because, I mean, man, I mean, you, if you can at least put Razor in the corner and give him the threat of that C4, even once you take the stock, uh, once you go into one stock versus oh? one stock as Snake, all bets are off, and all bets are off for Avoid right now, switching off of his main in the Snake to pull out an inkling that we saw last night. If you didn't have an inkling that this character was coming out, I would advise that you look into this matchup, especially if you struggle against Snake, because Inkling has a lot of tools. Yes, Inkling is one of the better characters against Snake. Uh, there, you know, some some players will swear by it being even or close to, but I think that results have shown that it is absolutely Inkling favored. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially for a guy like uh, Cosmos uh, going up against MVD, for example, you know, he's positive on him. And there are a whole lot of reasons for that. I mean, first of all, that splatter shot is going to be something that's going to do a lot of work for Inkling, both blowing up grenades in Snake's hands. And of course, you know, also you're going to be putting a lot of ink on Snake, and that means that trades aren't going to be as much in his favor. Oh, yeah. And then the other thing is that Booyah percentage range for Inkling, that's like 120 to 150% on Snake. There's not a lot that this big boy can do once he gets grabbed. And he can't really avoid it very well. He doesn't have the best movement tools in the world. He has some shimmies in the air with those B-reverses on grenades. But 
that's about it. And once the Inkling does trap the landing, you're done. Yeah, but also if you get off stage against Snake, as we said, you tend to get done sometimes, especially by that Nikita. Avoid getting done dirty. He's down on that, that second stock. And it's up to Ultimate Razor to keep the pressure on, especially with this ledge trap, but he's going to overcommit right there. Again, trying to use that C4. He waited so long to go for a punish there. I wonder what he was waiting for the buffer out of a... Uh what front of Razor for? Uh, I would have to imagine that he was trying to debate on, okay, so my up smash probably won't Certainly kill won't yet kill. Uh, yeah. on a heavy character like Snake. And, uh, you know, importantly, a forward smash is just going to steal that move, and I want that available. Nice weaves there by Avoid, though. Definitely avoiding that Nikita very effectively. We'll see if he's going to be able to do it again. Twice, and he yes. <laughs> looking nice. Avoiding the ledge trap, too, but eventually falling down on the up tilt. That is one thing that Inkling will struggle with, that light weight still dying at about 100%. That's the big part of this matchup, man. It's got to be all about, well, I mean, Avoid's got to live up to his tag, man. I mean, it's about the defense against Snake when you're playing Inkling, where you kind of almost let him build up the damage on himself if they're not careful. But you can stay from a range, let him whiff, and it's just going to be a problem, especially when you're down against Snake. Nobody wants to be in that situation, and Razor is in such a big lead now. Yeah, still on his first stock, narrowly avoiding death from the big paintbrush that Avoid was trying to bring. Smart. Smart uses because that time, so Avoid has been just weaving around that Nikita every time. This time he changes up that pattern, which will buy him way back on stage, but it's not buying him a W right now because. The fourth are almost killing his bad TI. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that was great. Hovering the Nikita right around the range where you have to grab the ledge. Able to two frame because uh, Avoid was coming at that very particular angle. Might have even just caught him before even reaching ledge snap position, but yeah. positioned such that it could potentially be a two-frame. It probably got bonked, like, right on the head with that Nikita. I mean, honestly, going to that ledge. I mean, and that's just because I think uh, I think that it was a good adaptation by Razor in general that uh, he started wiggling that Nikita uh, all around the ledge and uh, slowing it down because he knew that Avoid was slowing down the recovery, so taking the Nikita right after him was going to be a lot less effective as that game went on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we saw beautiful play coming out of Ultimate Razor, showing that his brawl experience is going to be superior for the Snake Ditto and showing that his ultimate experience is enough coming through for that Inkling matchup. Mm -hmm. Now sitting very pretty winner's finals. Yeah, very, very pretty winner's finals. And it's going to be uh, interesting to find out how that match goes. But before we get there, still got some losers matches to get through. We just saw a duo on the uh, on the stream earlier. She was playing.